Hi everyone, I'm Wafa Langa and welcome you all in today's topic and that is what we have started active voice and passive voice. Before starting voice, it's kinds, we need to understand what sound is. You know, these are the important topics. We will try to understand it. The first one we, we will discuss that is a topic that is known as sound. What actually a sound is, you know, the definition of sound is whatever we hear is called sound whatever you know passes from our ear that is known as ear you know here we will try to understand the meaning of ear and listen we will try to understand that what ear and what is difference between ear and listen you know in british english ear that is what you know a sound which passes from your ear and listen means you are hearing and uh, listen means which you are listening and also understanding now see so i say this is what a sound you know this you heard but this does not mean you listen listen means try to understand this is what i clapped what does it mean actually the ear means you know which passes from your but you're not getting it in a, in british but listening means you are listening plus understanding yes passing from your ear and that is what you are understanding now i'm speaking in english you are understanding this but if i speak over here my language or someone else's language you know a chinese language you may not be able to understand that is you know that comes in ear so that is difference between ear and listen so ear means whatever sound means whatever we hear is called sound uh, and another thing that you know um, in American English ear also means understanding like listening means understanding ear also like Americans say I heard a news that is what you know he understood and he's saying that I heard a news but I, the British say I heard a sound but that is what you, you didn't get that yes all right and listening means and to get uh, to understand as well whatever we hear is called sound now see it can be sound of people sound of people you know a lot of people talking and that is what you are not getting it clear that is called sound of people it can be sound of animals now this is what you know the dog barks at night and what you didn't you don't get that what do they mean and what are they saying they've got at the night their group and you know they're walking here and there they've got their boundaries nobody is to no and not the other dog to enter their boundary so they they fight and when they yell you know that there you don't get what do they mean by that can be also sound which is passing from your ear and you're not getting it it can be sound of things you know sound of things like you know beating drums are there you know and in the same way you know any car making noise the whatever the things sound uh, produce any sound that can be sound of things in the same way noise noise is actually opposite of sound how like for example you know sound of people when uh, it can be a sound of people disturbing you when you have got an headache and someone even sings in front of you that is what you say you know you your sound is disturbing me so the sound which disturbs us is called noise that can be sound of people and the it can be sound of animals like you know the dogs bark and that is what you know you are at home and that is what you know you you are sleeping and any animal makes noise and that disturbs you is called noise in the same way sound of things you know sound of things how can disturb us that can make uh, that can produce noise for example you have got there is a marriage party there is beating of drums yes and there there that may be a enjoyment for them but for us that is a disturbance anything you know even the sound of coil you know you hear that is what makes you uh, dis brings disturbance that is known as noise okay now we will come towards our topic that is known as voice what do we mean by voice see sound and in sound what is difference between voice sound anything that is produced and passing from your ear voice that is called the people sound see the sound of people is called voice now people when they talk that you will be calling voice i don't know the sound what do, what do we call the sound of animal what do we call the sound of things but the sound of people is known as voice clear we are we are learning grammar so we are not scientists or something any uh, anyone yes we are learning grammar and here you need to know actually what do we mean by uh, voice so voice of animals and things we are not discussing we are discussing voice so voice of uh, the sound of people is called voice 
in the same way there are two kinds of voices now see my i'm talking with you people that is a voice for you and before where passing from your as a sound but when sound of people now i'm discussing with you people that is known as voice now we will discuss you know kinds of voice there are two kinds of voices that is known as active voice and passive voice the first kind we are going to discuss that is known as active voice what do we mean by active voice you know active voice is what your all tenses and the same when you change in another way that is known as passive voice see what actually active voice is in active voice subject does something your subject is the doer of an action for example i have given an example you are writing an essay you is the doer of an action here subject does something and she beats the students now here she is the doer of an action so in active voice your subject does something got it so that is known as active voice passive voice is the opposite of the active now or in passive voice subject is affected you know what do we mean by affected here subject does not do anything subject is being affected by someone yes now you get the work done here now by the same person like i say an essay is written by you so over here you know you have written the an essay like i say you write an essay an essay is written by you here you are affecting someone that do something clear when you are affecting someone do here any action then that does not mean it will be called object that will be called you know uh, another thing that we will discuss in the next slide in the topic uh, for the next lecture but here you will not call it object see in passive voice we have got two rules that subject takes the place of object and object takes the place of subject keep in your mind when subject takes the place of object that is not called object then that is called something else that we will discuss and in passive voice object takes the place of subject so here your subject an essay and students is not the doer of an action here you will be calling it another subject that we will discuss in the coming slide what actually we mean by doer of an action subject or another subject so this is the lecture for sound noise voice active voice and passive voice hope you got the lecture and wish you best of luck see you next time allah hafiz